Hello, Ryan here, aka Matt, and welcome. So coming with 3.5 are a few new weapons, both ship and FPS weapons. These bring new approaches and techniques to make the most out of them. So let's take a look at what they are and what we can expect from each weapon. Kicking off with FPS weaponry, we have the Kastak Arms Coda. Now we already have the Kana and the Scalpel. This is um, a cool new manufacturer we've seen quite recently. The Coda is a ballistic handgun. This is currently at 5 out of 26 on the roadmap. It's actually a .50 caliber handgun. So I would expect it to have quite a heavy punch, but likely have a limited ammo, uh, just to sort of form that balance. Think like the Desert Eagle. What I do love about this handgun is it looks like a revolver and it would suit a rough and ready character. Maybe a pirate or someone living on the frontier wearing a duster. I really love the aesthetic of Kastak arms. They kind of feel to me like the Drake equivalent of weapons. Probably not super practical, but it definitely sends a message and looks pretty scary. The second FPS weapon we're getting is the Gemini S71. This is a ballistic assault rifle and features an integrated sight, which is pretty cool, but that may mean that we can't swap sights on it, which would obviously be a bit better. It's very sleek. It's a professional looking sidearm and it says it's used by many security professionals. However, it also mentions that the aesthetic upgrade is not worth the cred. So it just sounds like you're getting a fancier looking weapon without really getting too much of a better weapon. Personally, I love the look of it, but I feel it's a bit too clean. I expect it to be quite a good weapon on paper. And I think it's also the first actual ballistic assault rifle in the game uh, that we will have, which is obviously going to be very handy, especially in the current builds with these massive PvP planet side FPS battles that are going on. Having a sight alone is quite useful, but I would also expect quite a hefty price tag closer to the 10,000 UEC. Uh, and also I expect we'll see this being used by a lot of the AI security forces just because it does look like a professional weapon. Now coming in 3.5 are also two new ship weapons. The revision weapon is the Gallison Tactical GT870 Tarantula. This is a size 3 ballistic cannon which has actually been in game for quite a while now but it's just purely bringing it up to the current standards of the other weapons. It says it uses the Gallison Tactical's spring slide drum ammunition type which smoothly and accurately delivers a variety of medium caliber ballistic shells moderate rate of fire but trustworthy and durable like with all the other weapons they're just bringing them up to the current standard this one i think is on a few ships at the moment and it's quite a decent weapon i think it scores quite highly in the whiteley's guide but at least we're getting that one back to the new standard uh, and back in game the new weapon we get is the banu single tachyon cannon which is a size 3 ship weapon and it uses Banu technology. They don't really go into what that means, uh, but I think it comes attached to the Banu Defender. Now this is the first Banu weapon we will have in game, so it will be very interesting to see how it feels and what it can do. It's likely a single shot, um, but very effective in the right hands. I expect it to be quite powerful. I don't know if it's going to deliver a different type of shot, like a, an energy or a ballistic. I highly doubt it's ballistic. Uh, do let me know your thoughts on this. Maybe there's someone out there who knows what tachyon actually means. So do drop that in the comments. Now I'm not going into DPM nor any other stats for these weapons as the game is very much in alpha and this will always change. However, coming in 3.5 is the new projectile manager which implements this new physics system that will improve projectile functionality and realism in game. Hopefully making FPS and flight combat a little more interesting, realistic and visceral, especially with the weapons. When 3.5 comes, if it does bring a good update, I will definitely look at the handheld weapons a little more, a little further in depth, and see what they feel like. But that is the weapons for 3.5. Let me know your favourite. I think mine has to be the Coda. It looks like a decent weapon. Like I say, not practical at all, but definitely going to be fun playing around with that one. Anyway, big shout out to my patrons. If you do want to support my channel further, hit the link in the description to check out my Patreon page. Follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermatbrothersryan as we always discuss things like this, get further in depth into the game and the systems and also jump in together and have some fun battles and missions. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.